you see and hear me clearly? Yes. Yes. Right. Oh, what happened to your connection? Can you hear me clearly? Hello. Can you hear me clearly, Anne? Yes. Yes. All right. So, how are you today? I'm fine. You're fine. Were you busy today? No, I don't. No, you don't. Okay, that's great. So now, um, and do you still remember our lesson last time? No. Now you don't remember? Oh no, you don't remember our lesson last meeting? You don't remember? <laughs> okay, it's all about television, right? Yes. Okay, and I told you to draw a clock shows the following time, right? Did you do it? Did you do your homework? No, I don't. Oh, why? Why you didn't do it? We, because my computer can draw. <laughs> your computer can draw. Okay. <laughs> You can draw using your paper and pen, and then maybe you can show it in our class, right? Or you can take a picture of that or a photo of that. Okay, so it's okay. Maybe you can send that next meeting, all right? Yeah. All right, but for now, we will continue our lesson last time. Can you see it? No, I just. Yes, all right. So last meeting we have here, Unit 20, Time for Television. And we also answered this activity, right? It took us a long time to answer this one because it's hard. It's hard to listen to it, okay? So we have here the next activity and we're going to say the time. All right, so we have here this activity. We have can you read 10 bus. <laughs> 10 fast. Okay, next. Five bus. Five bus. Very good. Next. 25 2. 25 2. Okay, one, quarter two. Quarter two. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right. So, okay. All right. We have here 10 pass, 5 pass. Okay. And 25 two and quarter two. Do you know how to? to identify or to name time or to say time? Yes. Yes, all right. So how are you going to, to show this one? Okay, this is clock, all right? And this is half past. So for example, we have here um, 12, okay? 12, yes. one, two, Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. All right, can you see it? Yes. Okay, so we have here. <laughs> mm -hmm. All right, so very good. Okay, now Anne, can you explain this picture? So can you explain this picture, Anne? Um, it's um 
a clock. Okay, clock. So, for example, we have here. Okay, this one. All right, I'm going to draw that one. Okay, we have here this one, and we have the small R. Okay, the small hand and the long hand, right? The short yeah. hand and the long hand, right? So if the short hand, okay, point to twelve, it means it is clock. Okay. All yes. right, and if the long hand point to one, two, three, four, it counts as five. Okay. Yes. All right. So, for example, okay, tell me the time here. Okay. Yes. All right. We have here, for example, this one. Okay. This is the short hand. Okay. And this is the long hand. Okay, I'm sorry. Okay, what that's what is the time here? What time is it? Um it is um two two uh, twenty five back two. All right, very good. It is 25 past two. Very good. And how about this picture? Okay, I'm going to draw another one. So we have here this one. This is the shorthand. Okay, wait a moment. This is the shorthand. It's quite hard to draw. <laughs> and this is the, the long hand. Okay, what's the time here? Um, it's uh, 20 to 10. All right, it's 20 to 10. Okay, very good. How about if I draw this picture? Oh, wait a moment. This is eight, okay. What if I draw this one? Um, okay, this is the shorthand and um, this is the long hand. What time is it? Um, it's um uh, twelve. Uh, um, half past half past eleven. Okay, very good. This is half past eleven. All right, good job. Okay, we you usually use this one, right? Like half past two, quarter half, quarter past three, but sometimes we also use the numerical time. Like for example, we have 12, 30, right? We also use 1, 15, okay? Yeah. So in my country, we usually um, tell time using this one, using the numerical one. But in your country, I think you, you usually use this one to tell time, to say time, right? Okay, so very good. Now let's move on to the next one. I want you to listen carefully, all right? And look at the clocks, all right? Ask and answer, then listen and choose the correct clock, all right? So what time is it? It's quarter past one, okay? I yeah. want you to, to, Answer the one. We have number one and we have number two. Okay? Yes. All right. So are you ready? Yes. Okay. Pupil's book, page 11. Seven. Listen and say the letter. One. Where do you have lunch? I have it at school. What time do you have it? I have lunch at quarter to one every day. Two. What time do you get up during the week? On school days, I have to get up early. I get up at 20 past seven. Ooh, that's earlier than me. Three. Do you walk home from school? No. I catch the bus. Do you have to wait for it? Sometimes. Okay, wait a moment. All right, so let's answer first one to two, okay? 
So number one is, where is quarter to one? one. Which, mm -hmm, quarter to one, that is? I. It's letter A, very good, that is quarter to one or 1.45 p.m. How about number two, that is 20 past seven? Um, is C. It's letter C, okay, very good, it is 20 past seven very good that is letter c okay good job now let's move on to number three and number four are you ready yes okay what time do you have it i have lunch at quarter to one every day two what time do you get up during the week on school days i have to get up early I get up at 20 past seven. Ooh, that's earlier than me. Three. Do you walk home from school? No, I catch the bus. Do you have to wait for it? Sometimes, but the bus usually comes at 25 past four. Four. Do you study geography at school? Yes, it's my favourite subject. When do you have it? At 10 to 10 on Tuesdays and Fridays. All right, did you hear that? Yes. Okay, very good. So we have here number three. Okay, so she, or oh, yes, he catched the bus at 20 past four. Where is that? 20 past four. Is I. It's letter A. Very good. 20? Is it 20? Yeah. Okay, very good. Okay, how about number four? It is 10 to 10. Uh, number four. Number four is C. It's letter C. Very good. 10 to 10. Okay, good job. So I think you are uh, you're very familiar in, in saying the time. Okay, good job. So let's move on to speaking. Talk about your daily routine and look at the examples. Okay, so when we say um, daily routine and these are the things you do every day. Okay, because we have here the word daily. Okay. Yeah. All right. So let's read. I get up. I get up at 6.30 in the morning. I leave home for school at about 7. No. no mm, mm, at about 7.50. Okay, very good. I get up at half past six in the morning. I leave home for school at about, how are you going to say this? Uh, it's um, quarter past seven. Okay, very good. Quarter past seven. Okay, next. I... I often watch TV as uh, half past eight o'clock. Then I go to bed at 10 o'clock. Okay, very good. So now, Anne, I want you also to share, Yoko, to tell in our class, what time do you get up? Okay, um, these questions, all right. I'm going to write that one. So... Uh, when do you um, get up in the morning? Okay. Number two, when uh, when do you eat? When do you eat your um, breakfast? Okay. Number three, um, when do you have your oh when do you go okay when do you go to school number four when do you eat lunch 
Right, number five. When do you um, eat snack if you have? Number six. Um, when do you come home? Uh, when do you come home from school? And number seven. When do you eat dinner? And the last question it is. Um, when do you go to bed? Okay. All right. And can you hear me? Yes. All right. So these are the questions you're going to answer. Can you do it right now? Mm. Yeah. Do, you, do you want to have um, time doing this or you can do it now? I can do it now. Okay, very good. You can do it now. So I want you to answer. When do you get up in the morning? Uh, I guess up six o'clock in the morning. All right. I get up at six o'clock in the morning. Very good. Number two. I eat my breakfast half past six in the morning. All right. I eat. Oh, don't forget to use the word at or the preposition at when you are talking about time, okay? Yeah. So you said, I eat my breakfast at half past six in the morning. Very good. How about when do you go to school? I went to, I, I go to school at, no, at quarter to seven in okay. the morning. Very good. Quarter to seven in the morning. When do you eat your lunch? I eat my lunch at 12 o'clock. At 12 o'clock. And when do you eat snack? I eat snack at 2 o'clock in the afternoon. Okay. Oh, it's early. <laughs> it's 2 o'clock. Okay, how about number six? When do you come home? I come home as half past four in the afternoon. All right, half past four in the afternoon. How about number seven? When do you eat dinner? I eat dinner at seven o'clock in the in evening. Okay. Uh, evening. <laughs> All right, very good. And the last one, when do you go to bed? I go to bed as at uh, 11 o'clock. At the... 11 o'clock in the evening. Good job. So, <laughs> do you uh, are you doing this one every day? No. No? Okay, so you change time every day? Yes. Yes, all right. So, that's great. And so, you're very good in speaking because you can... All right, you can say, oh, you can tell the time, okay? Or you can talk about your daily routine. Very good. So let's move on to um, vocabulary. All right, let's have that picture here. All right, we have number one. Let's read the text. Look at the pictures and which kind of programs is it? Okay. So can you read number one, A, oh, letter A. Cartoon are moving picture. Children love that. They can be thought program or complete films. They are easily funny. All right, very good, letter B. We watch the weather to find out if it's sunny, rainy, windy, or cloudy. What's the weather like today? Okay, very good. And letter C. A document is a programmer, a docu documentary. Very good. Documentary. Documentary is a programmer which tells uh, tell us about what. It can be about animal, history, or geography. Very good. So we are going to talk uh, what kind of programs is this? So in letter A, what do you think is, uh, what is this kind of program? Uh, Can you I guess? I think it's 
It's a cartoon. It's a cartoon program. Very good. And they're usually funny. What is your favorite cartoon movie or film? Do you have? Mm, no, I don't. No, you don't have. You don't like. Do you like watching cartoons? No, I like watching YouTube. Oh, you like watching YouTube. Okay. How about when you were a child? Um, I think I like uh, Gui Pepe. Are you? Gui Pepe. Oh, is that an English? How about Peppa Pig? Do you, watch, do you know Peppa Pig? No, Gui Pepe. <laughs> What is that? Is that a movie? Is that an English cartoon? Yes. Oh, can you type? Can you type the name? Yes. Mm. We bear bear. Oh, <laughs> what's this? We bear bear. Wow. Okay, this is a cartoon. Okay, so I think you really like this one. Why do you think you like this? Oh, yes, it's a funny movie, right? It's a cartoon movies. Okay, so do you still watch these cartoons? Yes. Yes, all right, that's great. How about the next one? Um, this picture here in letter B, we watched the weather. What kind of program is that? It's a weather program. It's a news. It's news, all right, or weather forecast. So they told us what will be the weather like. Okay, and the last one, this is a documentary program. It talks about and more history or geography. Okay, very good. This is a real life situation or a real life program. Okay. All right. So, do you also love or oh, do you love watching documentaries? No, I don't. No, you don't. Oh, you can try watching this on YouTube. Uh -huh. You will learn a lot when you watch documentary films or programs. Okay. Yes. All right, so let's move on to the next one we have here. Letter D. Uh, what kind of program is it? Can you read? Uh, a comedy is funny programmer which makes us laugh. What's your favorite com comedy? So a comedy is a funny program which makes us laugh. What's your favorite comedy? Oh, I think I love watching comedy films. Because it's funny. How about you, Anne? Do you love watching comedy films? Yes, I do. Yes. What, what is your favorite uh, film or comedy movie or program? Um, I think it's... Uh... Mm. It? Uh, um, home, uh, home Alone. What is that? Can you type it again? Is this... Oh, Home Alone. Okay, let's... I think I've watched this movie already, or this film. Alone. Oh, this one. Yeah, I've watched this. Okay, do you love watching this one? Okay, I think this is during Christmas, right? Yes. Okay, this is funny. All right. And I also love these cartoons before. Okay. This is my favorite cartoon when I was a kid. Do you know this one? Yes. Yes. Do you also watch this one when you were a child? Yes. 
All right. So this is fun or this is cartoons, right? Yeah. All right. Okay. So we also have here. Oh, I also have this movie. I think this is I highly advise. I recommended this movie for you because this is educational movie. We have here three idiots. Well, all right, this one, three idiots. Have you watched this film? No, I don't. No, you don't. All right, I highly recommend this movie, okay? Maybe you can try.